And here we are again, ready to get us a rod of fire. So yeah, a lot of this game is going to be me doing quests for people. People send me off to do something so that I can get something in return that I need. That's how RPGs work. As you say. Uh, this is going to be a fairly basic one where I just kill a bunch of spiders. But uh, there was something I wanted to talk to, uh, to y'all about the lore. Because um, a couple of weeks back I did mention that there's a whole bunch of codices with lore in it. Um, I don't think I explained that like the lore that's in there isn't just like the authors of the of the story saying all right let me tell this guy. it is begun sorry is la rather loud um okay, I I can turn down let me see that i let me see if i can turn down combat a little bit because it doesn't need to be loud you guys don't want to hear animals screaming and stuff like that that's not that fun music volume Keep music volume down, sound effects volume, we're going to keep real low, like that, should work, okay, alright, um, so about the lore, uh, it's not, the lore isn't written out as if it were the authors of the story telling you this is how things are in this world, instead the, um, the codices are filled with, um, you know, pages of supposed books that are written in this world, um, histories supposedly written in this world, that sort of thing. So that, um, what interests me about that is that it means that fight, let us do it you can have unreliable narrative. Um, and this story is absolutely filled with un unreliable narrative. There is People no have, glory in bloodshed. um, ideas of how things are. Yeah, there's all this idea of, uh, from everybody it. about, well, this is how the world is. Um, and then if you happen to read, you know, a history from some other country that has a completely different idea of how things are, um, then those are going to conflict. Um, and of course, in the course of the game, um, you also get to learn, I'm just turning this down a little bit so that she doesn't shout quite so loud during the fighting. Um, uh, through the course of the game, of course, we actually gain some knowledge, um, that you, you can't get out of a history book, essentially, um, and that in, uh, in turn, you know, shows us which, what's some parts of the lore we know to be lies because of what we learn within the games, um, that sort of thing, and that interests me, um, history being wrong in some cases knowing that history cannot be 100 percent accurate because we can't get every perspective we can't actually be there we can only get one person's perspective of what happened um and ha also how history is lost because time has passed and it wasn't properly taken down at the time and uh yeah those sorts of things interest me and those um reflect on the human condition they um they sort of explain what it is to be human um, and so this is and it, that was one of the things that makes this a really good game um, it has a political like I mentioned before the politics of this world are important um, this, like, as I'm a mage um, there's political things rallied against me um, nobody really likes the mages um, they're powerful, but uh, that is the problem with them. People don't like power that they can't control, um, and so mages are feared. Um, there's also the religion that tells everybody that mages should be essentially locked away. Um, or at least, I should say, that's the interpretation of the religion, because we don't know that Andraste, um, you know, the prophetess, the, the Jesus figure, we don't know that she actually intended that mages should be locked away like this we only know that she fought mages and um we know that there is a book that was written uh called the the chant of light yes it's called the chant of light um that has you know basically andraste's thoughts about all this but again that's interpreted in the interpretation is what led to the mages being essentially jailed um so it's not like anybody can say, Andraste, what do you think of this? Because this all came about later. 
in an effort to basically follow what Andraste wrote. Uh, so obviously there's there's conflict. There is um, what's the word I'm looking for? There are different perspectives. There are people who think, well, maybe Andraste didn't intend this. Um, where are we at? So I've chosen a um, a class that very much has a lot at stake um, in the religion and uh, in the interpretation of that religion because as soon as someone is found to have mage power they're sent away they don't get to be with their family anymore um although in some ways it, there are other classes i could have chosen that would have had a lot more personal stakes in this story being a mage um if i'm told that i have to leave the circle well that's actually a good thing for me for several of the other um origin stories if they're told that they have to leave their family forever and it's not exactly what they had in mind for their life. Like they have plans and then the inciting incident of this story um, takes them away from those plans. Whereas if you're a mage, it's like, ah, inciting incident. I finally get to get away from this horrible place. <clears throat> All right. So we've done that little quest. We have killed us some spiders. Now we're going to get us a rod of fire. You're back. Are the spiders gone? I've dealt with your infestation. Oh, wonderful. You're a lifesaver. Now, where was that form you wanted me to sign? Here it is. Right. There you go. How's that? Excellent. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You'll go far in the circle, I bet. All right. I need to fix the dialogue again because I don't think that's quite going to be loud enough. It's hard for me to judge because I'm wearing headphones that don't sound great. Anyway... But I want to be sure that you guys can hear the dialogue in the videos without too much trouble. I'm going to put the sound effects and music volume down pretty low and the rest of it, I guess, should be okay. Alrighty, so we got us a signed thingamabobber, which will get us a rod of fire from our tranquil friend here. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Here's the signed form for the Rod of Fire. Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. I'm going to talk to him one more time. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Is that how you greet everyone? Do you find my greeting disagreeable? I apologize, but I am not inclined to change it. Do you need something? I don't need anything. Very well. Goodbye. Oh, I'm going to see if I can buy stuff. Okay. I didn't ever know if this guy Welcome was Welcome to the Circle Stockroom of Magical Items. My name is What Owain. can I buy here? How the Stockroom is not a shop. Your mentor should have clarified this. The Stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? I don't need anything. Very well. Goodbye. <laughs> I thought for a second he might be a shop, but no, he is not a shop. Um, which, <laughs> for someone who, uh, the, this video series is, of course, for people who don't play video games, and you may not know what I mean by saying he's a shop, because obviously he's not surrounded by a shop. But um, in a video game, sometimes you'll have guys standing around like this with, with whom you can buy and sell stuff um, in your inventory. And let's actually have a look at my inventory right now kind of full um you know more than halfway well yeah more than halfway full so some of this stuff is going to need to be sold off to somebody the only reason i collect everything is so that i can sell it off um and i ran out of room pretty fast so i am not going to see a person to sell to in this tutorial um i thought for a second with that line of dialogue being able to ask him about buying and selling that he might actually turn out to be a store but there's actually another way in this game to tell if someone is a store um, and that's why they have a little symbol that looks sort of like a, a house or a shack he doesn't have that so really I should have known that he wouldn't buy and sell for me all right well we got us a rod of fire let's go to the um, let's go to Romeo and Juliet and see what they have to say I hate waiting it makes me nervous I have the rod of fire. 
That was quick. To the repository then. Freedom awaits. All right. Yes, they're going to follow me. Now I have a team. So if you look up in the upper left-hand corner, before there was just a single circle with my picture in it. Now there are two other circles showing that there is, uh, I'm on a, I'm the head of a team now, head of a crew. Um, where do I go? Yeah, that's downstairs. Yeah, and I can also equip them with stuff. So let's look at the equipment screen again. Um, I've got some different things here. Let me see if there's anything I want to put on me. All right, nothing for me to add, but Lily probably could use some stuff. Maybe I'll give her a helm. I will get the stuff that I give her back at the end of this. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother. Um, I don't want to give her a shield. This guy could use a... He doesn't really have anything good to, to give him. Um, all right, I'm going to give him some nicer robes. Slightly nicer, anyway. I think I am going to get weapons to give them shortly. Alright, so to remind anyone who has forgotten, I got a rod of fire so that we can break into a room that's going to have Jowen's phylactery. Jowen's phylactery, if we destroy it, means that he can't be tracked if he runs away. And I told the first enchanter everything that we're doing. Oh, was I supposed to tell him? No, oh, I think I need to tell him first. Did I miss my chance to tell him? <laughs> I don't know. Crap. I think I was supposed to tell him before I before I brought them with me. <sighs> it's gonna be weird. <laughs> I told the first enchanter that I was gonna help him out. And now I'm not sure that I've done the right thing and, and actually told him what was going on. I mean, I know that I didn't tell him what was happening. Hmm... Well, I still think I have the cover of being able to say that I'm doing what the first enchanter told me. But I can't talk to him now. His little... Oh, that's another thing I'm checking for on the map. Uh, when there's a mission from somebody, you can see a little symbol um, around them. Um, and I don't see that now. Probably I can't talk to him now. But he already knows that I'm doing this. So maybe I'm covered? Uh, it's... I could be I could be misremembering. I might not need to talk to him again after already having confessed what's going on. It's not like he doesn't have spies or whatnot. He already knew that Joan had a girlfriend. Okay. The Chantry calls this entrance the victim's door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. But how do we get past it? The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. So, what must I do? First, the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. I heard something. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. Okay then. Which reminds me, I want to put on my it armor. Begun. My magic armor. Rock armor. Okay. Do you have the rod with you? Mount the locks off. All right, use the rod and the locks. You use the rod and the locks, but nothing happens. What's the matter? Why isn't it working? I don't know. Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? B 
because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. I'm sorry, Jowen. No, Jowen, don't give up. Look. Oh, come on. You just said door. it was hopeless. Perhaps there is another way in. That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? <sighs> or we could just forget this foolishness and leave? No. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. <sighs> Onward then. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. I tried to warn them, but they wouldn't listen to me. Did I get anything? Oh, I haven't looted anything yet. I'm All not right. giving up. We've come too far. Yeah, sure, dude. We're out of fireworks this time. Oh, that's Enemies not approaching. Good. All right. Excellent. Let's loot this here guy if we can. We cannot loot him. Oh yeah, that's another thing you do in video games. You loot bodies all the time. Gray robber ahoy. It shall be done. Very well. You see, these two are completely unarmed. I would like to get them something, but I haven't found anything yet. Oh, did you see that light? I leveled up. All right. So I guess you guys will get to see the level up screen, which itself is pretty boring. So I will try to most of the time not have to show this on screen. Um, but I get to add, you know, different powers here. Um, I'm going to give myself more magic and more constitution. We'll leave willpower where it is for now, although that's my other main stat. Definitely going to add some of that coercion and give us a magic spell of some sort. That's a good one. Well, I want to get my ice spells up, so we'll do that. All right. Do I have, have I looted anything yet that these people can? Oh, there's a mace. Okay. We give Lily the mace and dagger in the other hand. And then we'll see if we can give Jowen something nice. These are both kind of not great. I guess we'll use that one for him. Any armor that he might use? I guess he can use those to be alright. <sighs> alright, fair enough. Everybody's geared up and I'm leveled up. These two, being temporary companions, will not level up. Of course, I'm going to steal from every room I can. You kidding? Very well. This is my one chance to get at this stuff. Not going to let me in here again. It shall be done. Open all the chests and take what's inside. That's the adventurer way. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Steal all I shall stuff. do it. That's the way you do it. All right, let me get kill these phantom things again. You'd think they'd have, like, God, Templar God, guards God, down me. here, but I guess it's a really boring right. job. Instead, they have magical guardians of some sort. Maybe there's, like, a temptation if you're, like, a human guard down here to actually take stuff. But, I mean, come on. They're Templars. They're supposed to be trusted anyway. If All they need is well, one human ahead. guard. <laughs> but I guess we kill them, too, Ooh. huh? So maybe not, not such a great oh. idea. At least this way we're not actually there killing no anybody. There is no glory in bloodshed. Watch my back, please. I'm not afraid of you. Careful. I can't wait to get out of here. These things are not of the maker. Not of the maker, eh? You keep your judgments to yourself, lady. All right. You know what? I think that we have uh, reached another 20 minute mark. Um, so I will leave the rest of this basement for next time. Have a good one, y'all.